welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sierra Brooke. I am a singer, songwriter, recording artist. On my way, on my road, on my journey to becoming a pop star. Woo! So, um, for those of you who may be new to my channel, that's me. I wanted to do a behind the song um, series on these new songs I have coming out. Um, I'm currently in a breakup relationship era of music, so um, I thought it would be good to just go behind the scenes on what it was like writing these songs, how I came up with some of the ideas for these songs, what the process looked like, so that you can just kind of, you know, have a peek into what songwriting is like um, and what like a day in my life kind of looks like as a full-time musician. Basically, I got the idea to write a breakup song just from the simple fact I realized I'd never written one. And I was like, well, if I'm gonna write one off of personal life experiences, now is probably the time before I forget what it was like. Um, I am happily married to my beloved Joshua. So um, there will be no more breaking up for me. So I wanted to pull from past experiences, past relationships, so that I could write some authentic songs from personal experiences. Um, and so that's what I did. I sat down to write a breakup song and I just started kind of going through and writing down ideas on things that were wrong with that relationship, things that were toxic and bad that could have led to the breakups. And in one particular relationship, there was a lot of breaking up and getting back together and breaking up and getting back together and just like a vicious, unhealthy cycle. And so, Josh, And so what I did was I tried to pinpoint the reason for the constant breaking up and getting back together and breaking up and getting back together. And the one thing that was in the forefront of my mind on that was always picking up the phone when he called, always, you know, responding to texts. And so one of the reasons why that relationship couldn't end is because of like constant ease of communication and growing up in a small town too like you have to see this person every day at school and it's just a small community and it's kind of hard to escape from something that's maybe toxic and not good and I've seen it not just in my life around here but in others lives too being in a small town it's just really hard to break out of something that's maybe not healthy because there's just the constant communication, the constant contact. So that's where the idea for pick up came from. And I literally started with the first line of the verse, is this you leaving me again? It's only happened 16 times before. And the song was built off of that. I had the title pick up and then the song was built off of that first line of the verse. Um, as far as the production behind this song, I really was kind of going for like a Taylor Swift 1989 like 80s synth vibes. I wanted like the gated 80s drums in the beginning and the end that um do 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 do. Um I wanted it bookend on the front and at the end cuz I like when a song has bookends. It starts and ends the same way. So I really wanted that. Um and even though this song kind of has some heavyish lyrics. I wanted it to be danceable and I wanted it to be fun because it is a song of empowerment to really just say like, I'm not gonna pick up the phone because it's better for the both of us. It's about standing up and making the right decision even though it's hard because a lot of times in these toxic relationships, you stay in them because it's what you know. You stay in them because it's easier than um, moving on and I think that probably everybody most people can relate to that if you've been in a bad relationship it's just comfortable you know and you really do love a lot of the times the, this person and you want to make it work 
but chances are if it's toxic for you, it's toxic for them as well. And so it's not good for either of you. So you just have to make the decision and say, um, I'm not gonna pick up the phone. And um, I just wanted to kind of clarify through this that like all of these breakup songs that I'm coming out with, these relationship songs I'm coming out with are no way vindictive or catty, I guess. It's more just like, I wrote these songs out of personal experiences, you know, drawing from what I felt during those times, what happened, what I was going through, and now they're just becoming songs. And writing them was really therapeutic for me. I learned a lot about myself. Um, I had a lot of fun writing these songs just because it's really cool when you write something that is just specific to how you felt at a certain time or specific to your experiences and it's not just like a vague you know a vague songwriting idea um like these songs i went through them and so i'm excited to share them with everybody if you've been listening to pick up thank you that was the first one i wrote and so it was the first one i put out because it was kind of just a nice start to this series um and i'm i'm excited for you guys to hear the rest of them I really want to be a positive influence on, you know, everyone, but specifically young girls and boys. And so with these songs, it's not meant to make people mad at their exes or mad at people from their past. These songs are really just meant to help you move on maybe, like maybe if you've been in a similar situation to where you can say, I'm not alone in what I'm feeling, like somebody else went through this and they came out the other side so I can too. So I don't want any of these breakup songs to like make you mad at people. <laughs> um, it's more just to show you that like you're not alone if you felt this way and that I came through it and you can as well. That is pick up and that's kind of the whole idea behind this whole series I'm in right now. That's what's going on. I have a new song in this breakup series coming out in uh, one and a half weeks. November 8th, Friday, November 8th, my new song, Info, is coming out. And so I'll be doing a behind the song episode on that one as well. So be sure you stay tuned. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to my channel, do all the things. This really helps me as an artist. Um, just growing my social media presence, really important as an artist these days. So that's how you can help me. Like, share, subscribe, all the things. And stay tuned. November 8th, mark your calendars. Info coming out. Coming at you quick. One day I won't pick up. When do you call? I'll just let it